Hi, Samuel Leeds here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some absolute golden nuggets to how you can find properties heavily below market value. You may hear a professional investors always using the term BMV, which stands for below market value. And the very first thing, and this is really, really important, if you're looking to buy discounted properties, if you're looking to get a really good deal, then what you need to be doing is you need to be finding motivated sellers and not being a motivated buyer. The very worst thing that you can be is a motivated buyer. Someone who is really desperate because you've just watched Homes Under the Hammer and you're like, oh, I really wanna buy a house and you've got money in the bank and you're really motivated and you get really excited. Maybe you fall in love with a property that you see on the market and you think, oh my gosh, that's so nice. That would make such a good investment property. And then you get emotionally attached. When emotions are high, intelligence is low and when you are a motivated buyer you're going to end up paying over the odds so instead you need to be a cool calm and collected investor finding and working with motivated sellers so how do you find motivated sellers and why would someone be in a position where they're prepared to pass you their house 10 20 30 percent below the true market value well, there's many reasons who these people might be. It might be that they are maybe going through a, a problem. They might have just, just be having a divorce. You know, I mean, I, I came across one lady who was selling the house at such a low price just to spite her ex-husband because they own the house together. Now, it's nuts. It's crazy. And, you know, we don't know what the reasons might be necessarily. People sometimes think, you know, oh, you're, you're taking advantage of the vulnerable. You're finding people in desperate situations. No, not at all. We're not putting anyone in any bad situations. What we're doing is we're finding them in a particular situation and then we're giving them what they want. It might be that they found their dream home and they're about to move to Florida, and, and, and in order to get their dream home, they need to sell their house, and they're prepared to sell it fast for a, for, for a discounted price because they need a certain amount of money in order to move on and do what they're doing. It might be that they're about to go repossessed, and the bank is gonna take the house off them, and they're gonna lose the house because they can't pay the mortgage, and you're gonna buy it off them, and although you're buying it at a real discount, which is great, it's that for them, it's the lesser of two evils. So you're actually helping them. So this isn't about exploiting people. This is about you running a business, trying to get bargain properties and finding people where it's actually a win-win. And of course, you know, they might not be in the best situation in the world, but it's gonna be the lesser of two evils and you buying it off them at a discounted rate is better than the other option. So that's the key. Be cool, karma collected, find motivated sellers. So how do you find these types of motivated sellers? Well, they're everywhere. You can find them online. You can go on, I, I really love a website called Gumtree. What I like to do is go on Gumtree. If they're selling their house on Gumtree, they've got to be pretty motivated because come on, who puts their house on Gumtree for sale? So what I do is I look for properties on Gumtree and I search from oldest listed and I find all the properties that have been on Gumtree for months or maybe even years that they can't sell and I'll just phone them up and say, hey, why can't you sell this house? What is the problem? Find out their issue, find out why they can't sell it, what the problem is and then see if I can overcome that. So that's one way, Gumtree. Next is tell everybody what you do. Tell the world that you are a property investor. Put on your Facebook that you are, maybe you say, I'm not a property investor, I'm a plumber. No, 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 you're a plumber and property investor. Tell the world that you're looking to buy properties. And then what will happen is, I mean, I get between 20 and 30 messages a day on social media from people that are stuck or they've got a property that they need to get rid of just because everyone knows that I'm a property investor. So tell the world that you are a property investor. Number three, build relationships with estate agents. I think that a good relationship with an agent is a lot better than a good deal because if you've got a good relationship with an estate agent, they're gonna potentially be able to pass you all the best properties before they even go on the market. So make friends with estate agents, take them out for coffee, show them that you're serious. If you've got funds in place, show them, show them that you're financially qualified, tell them what you're looking for. So there's just a few ways that you can find motivated sellers and get your foot in the door to get in these types of deals. So there's just a few ways, but there's many more. And the more motivated sellers that you're dealing with at one given time, the less motivated you'll be because you've got lots of choices. So it's gonna mean you can get even better deals. Now, once you've found these potential properties, you've found these motivated sellers, how are you gonna secure 
this property at such a good bargain price? Well, here's my tip for you. First thing you need to do is you need to find out not what the asking price is. Many amateur investors get mixed up between the market value and the asking price. They could be asking for a million pounds for the property. It might only be worth 100,000 pounds. So the, what the seller is asking for is irrelevant. You need to be able to work out what the true current market value is on the house. Now we run something called the Property Investors Crash Course where we show you how to value any house. One of the ways that we teach, there's three, but one of the ways is we teach you to look at what has sold, not what's selling, but what's sold in the street recently that is similar. And you can do that for free on Rightmove by looking at the house prices tab at the top of rightmove.co.uk. So once you know what the current true market value is on the property, you're then gonna be able to say, okay, the house is worth 100,000 pounds, I wanna buy it for 80, or whatever it is that you might wanna buy it for. Now, never put the offer in first. If you're speaking to the vendor direct, always make them give the first figure, because for all you know, it might be on for 100, but they might be they might be selling it for 65. So if you go in and say, I'll give you 80, you've paid over the odds of what you could have paid. So always make them give the first figure. So don't come in and say, I'll give you 80, how does that sound? Or I'll give you 90, or whatever. Say to them, if I was to give you cash tomorrow, what would be the absolute lowest you would accept and still live with? With, and then just shut up until they speak. You don't know what they're gonna say. If they say, oh, well, it's on for 100, I'll accept 99, then there's no point offering 60. But if you offer 80, and they would have accepted 60, then you're screwed as well. So let them always put the figure in first. So what would be the lowest you could accept and still live with? Wait for them to speak. Now, if they absolutely will not give you a figure, and they're just like, well, what, what will you offer? Always try and make them offer first. But if they absolutely will not, then put in an offer that you are embarrassed with, <laughs> okay? Like a really embarrassing offer because if they want 80 and it's on for 100 and you come in and say 60 and they go, ha, no, you've not lost anything apart from just maybe looking a little bit uh, cutthroat or whatever, but you've not lost anything. So find what the true current market value is, make them put the first figure in first, and then thirdly, if you have to put the figure in first, do an embarrassingly low figure. Once you've secured a property like that, it might it might take you 20 hours to find one property like that, half a week. But if you manage to get 20 or 30 grand off the true market value of a property in 20 hours, that's like more than a thousand pounds an hour that you've been being paid in equity. So I think it really pays to try and get a discount with bargain properties. And of course, you wanna make sure that the rental is good as well to make sure that it stacks. I've done other videos on that. You can check above here, just above on this video. If you can't buy the property and they accept it and you're like, oh my goodness, I've just had an offer accepted of 60,000 and it's worth 100,000, but I can't buy it. Then who do you know that can? Who could lend you the money? Maybe you could do a joint venture or maybe you could pass that deal onto somebody else and charge a finder's fee. I'll tell you something, if you found a property that was worth 100 and you got it for 60, I'd pay you 5,000, 10,000 pounds for it. So there's many things you can do. The world is your oyster when you know how to find good property deals like that. I hope that's been helpful. Please do subscribe below if it has, and don't forget to smash that like button, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's mentoring on a Monday. Every single week at 7 p.m. on a Monday between 8 p.m., I'm gonna be live answering all your comments and questions. Don't forget to subscribe right over here so you'll never miss one of these videos. I'll see you next week at 7 p.m. Also, if you haven't got a copy of my book, you need this in your life. You can get it from Amazon for £10.99 or a gift from me absolutely free down below in the description link. I'll see you next week, Monday at 7 p.m.